What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. Alright so today we got to start doing some of the dirty work and upgrading some of the walls around my base. I upgraded a couple of them up to level 7 in the center. I'm going to upgrade one more right now and they cost 200,000 gold each so hopefully we can get maybe 8, 9, or 10 done today and uh, yeah as far as elixir goes I'm just going to probably upgrade the most expensive thing that I can. I'm guessing it's going to be the barracks to the next level uh, seeing as that costs I think 1.5 million elixir but let's just go ahead and do some raids try to get as many resources as we can and I'm really focusing on gold more so than elixir so if I see a base that has like 300,000 gold and zero elixir I'm definitely gonna attack it because in the next couple episodes I'm definitely gonna cap out and elixir is gonna be absolutely meaningless and that's why I'm not really protecting elixir uh, inside of my base that's why the storages are stored on the outside all right so attacking this first base here looks like this guy does have a pretty good mix between the storages and the mines and pumps rather than just attack from one single side seeing as this guy has all of his defenses on the outside ring literally none of his defenses are in the center of his base i'm just going to attack from pretty much every side of his base and after i destroy the main part of the defenses the inside is obviously not going to be able to do anything and it's going to be an easy three star wrap up so i decided to attack from the bottom right the bottom left as well as the top left and there's only an archer tower and a cannon on the top right so those really shouldn't cause too much of an issue and uh, yeah I should have plenty of troops to get through the base as well as I still have my barbarian king doing a lot of work I'm trying to drop my barbarian king so he doesn't take a lot of damage and I can use him in as many rates as possible while he's still doing a lot of damage to the defenses and a bunch of buildings and it worked out really well for this raid he didn't take any damage and this wrapped it up for the raid all right so in total 419,000 resources plus a little bit of a bonus and 16 trophies not too bad at all and let's go ahead and check out the next raid that we have all right, so almost 500,000 resources for this guy, and definitely different than the other one. This guy has pretty much everything inside of his mines and pumps. So I'm not going to have to focus into breaking to that second layer, I guess, depending on what side you look at the base. And I'm really just focused on the mines and pumps, and uh, some of them are actually spread pretty far apart. So unfortunately, I can't just drop my goblins on the outside and take care of everything without dropping any wall breakers. Um, giants or archers or anything so I'm gonna start off by dropping my archers on the outside and I'm just trying to get rid of some of these garbage buildings before I start going into the center of the base because nothing's worse than dropping your giants and then having your archers have to shoot through a bunch of army camps and by the time that they're done your giants are already dead and the raid is gonna turn out to be a failure all right so army camps are down now I'm free to drop my archers they're gonna help shoot down that wizard tower I'm starting out on the bottom left and I'm gonna slowly swing swing my way all around the base and again I'm mainly focused on the gold mine so I'm gonna go for the gold mines first and then after i'm done with the mines i can switch my priority to the pump uh pumps and see what happens with that all right so we're doing a good job right there i'm also going to want to break through right here there is a gold mine right here so i'm just going to use a simple wall breaker and break through to get that and then i'm just going to keep dropping a couple more goblins but i don't want my guys to get distracted because if I keep dropping from that one side, my goblins will eventually try to break through the wall and get to that gold storage that's on the bottom left wall. So I'm going to have to break through the through the top right as well, and I might even consider breaking through the top left, depending on how much I really want to get those elixir pumps. All right, so troops are going through. I only have about 10 goblins left after I drop those guys. I'm going to slowly drop them inside the base. Looks like that elixir collector is going down, and there's only one more gold mine left. My guys are going to run in and they're going to try to do the best they can. All right, so I did try to get this last elixir pump at the end. You can see I dropped a giant, and I wanted the giant to tank the wizard tower for my archers, but unfortunately the giant took such a long route, the wizard tower ended up redirecting my archers, and unfortunately they weren't be able to do uh, much of a good job. So that was pretty much it for the raid. In the end, we stole almost 400,000 resources. Uh, still a pretty solid one. We didn't get all the gold. I think I left one gold mine up. Um, that was like maybe halfway done, but yeah. Pretty solid overall and let's go ahead and make it up with this base that has over almost a million resources it has over 900,000 and uh, yeah let's see how we can attack this guy all right so for a base like this I have no possible way of getting into the second layer of his base where a couple of his gold mines are if you look into the uh, the bottom left there's a gold mine behind two walls as well as there's one in the very core of the base so those two gold mines I'm just gonna write off because I know there's no possible chance I'll ever get to them I know I can definitely get the ones on the outside and I'm just gonna drop some lightning spells on that dark elixir pump and that gold mine and I'm not gonna worry about those guys anymore all right so there's only hundred fifty thousand gold left we've already gonna done a good job of taking care of those I'm gonna keep dropping my goblins outside of the base and a big Big mistake that a lot of people make with these types of bases is they see all these resources and they think they just have to attack from one side especially when you only have level four troops like I do like if I chose to attack from the bottom right I would get to the second layer of the base and then I would just get absolutely destroyed and I would end up getting like a hundred thousand resources overall so it's a way better idea to sit, split your troops apart in the base and to do what I'm doing right now I'm just 
doing a divide and conquer tactic. I'm going all around the base. I'm finding the pumps. I'm finding the mines. I'm finding the ones that are semi easy to get to that are either on the outside or behind one layer of wall. And because of that, even though I had really low level troops attacking that base, I still managed to steal almost 600,000 resources just by using level four troops against a base like that. So that worked out really well, pretty much the best I could have done with it. There was no possible way that I could get into the center of the base and do anything meaningful. So even though I was severely under leveled, I was still able to steal a lot of resources from that base. So I did leave maybe 250,000 um, out there, but that's something you just have to deal with. There was no possible way of getting three stars or getting all the resources from that base. So uh, yeah, I think I did a really good job and let's go ahead and move to our last raid of the day. So over 500,000 resources. This one's definitely a lot easier to get into rather than the other base where I'm going to divide and conquer. This one I'm just going to attack from the bottom right and the top left because that's where most of the mines and pumps are. And let me just go ahead and split apart my giants, split up my archers and goblins, and we should be able to just dominate our way throughout the center. Luckily, the storages are in their own compartment and that's usually good when you're going for the mines and pumps because nothing's worse than when you're going for the mines and pumps and then all of a sudden your goblins are attacking the storages that have literally zero gold and zero elixir inside of them so he did me a favor by walling those guys off and now i can just drop my goblins to run around the center of the base uh, destroy all the mines and pumps and we should get a pretty good amount of resources from this raid we'll have to see how much we get in the end but we pretty much should get the majority of what this guy had all right, so looking at what he has left, a little bit over 40,000 resources. There is that elixir pump right there, as well as this gold mine right here, but I only have two goblins left, so they can't do much else. But I did have a couple of extra guys, so they'll actually take all of the gold except for two. And yeah, another really, really awesome raid. 500,000 resources at Town Hall 7 is going to be able to do a lot for us. Pretty much getting a wall in every single battle, seeing as I'm getting like 200,000 gold or more, which is what I'm shooting for. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head back to base, see what we've got, and do some upgrades in the center. So I ended up with 1.7 million gold. And while that seems like a decent amount, it's only going to be able to do eight walls for me because they're 200,000 each. And uh, even though my army compositions were pretty cheap... Um, yeah, it turned out to be a pretty profitable day, and I'm just going to have to keep grinding away those walls as much as I can. Again, as far as Elixir goes, 1.5 million Elixir to upgrade the barracks. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these to level 9 and get the dragons, which I'll show you guys um, in a later episode. But I think that's going to wrap it up for the wall grinding today, and that should do it for this video. So in future videos, I might do maybe one, maybe two more wall videos, but I'm going to want to upgrade my town hall as soon as possible. Um, I still have to upgrade one of the cannons like I talked about in the other episode. I didn't want to do that today instead of upgrading the, uh, the barracks. But yeah, we're making really good progress. I don't want to bore you guys to death with walls, so I'm going to do a bunch of those off um, off video. And I definitely want to make sure I get most of them to town or to level 7 by the time we get up to town all 8. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.